hello everyone uh, today we will see how to make a central incisor so to start with the central incisor if you see the maxillary central incisor the crown length is 10.5 mm root length is 13 mm mesiodistal dimension at cervical line or crown is 8.5 and mesiodistal dimension at cervical line is 7 and buccolingual dimensions are 7 if you see the grossly how to go for the crown preparation if you see this is your block wax block take a measurement of a crown length of an 10.5 so always keep 0.5 millimeter extra so it will be considering I'm this as an 11 this is 11 millimeter the crown length is 13 so take 14 so this is 14 millimeter and this is again 1 millimeter so this will be your crown length this will be your root length so how to how to start with this the initially whenever you are starting with the crown preparation so considering this part of an crown this is the crown part and this is the root part always do a half crown length here this will be considering this buck this is a buccal surface this is a mesial surface and this is the distal surface so take a half that is 0.5 millimeter here from here what is the dimension of cervical the cervical is 7 so consider 8 so take 4 millimeter from this side and 4 millimeter this side so this is a cervix root length will come as an 7 millimeter the crown is 8.5 so keep at, keep it as a 8 uh, 9 so 9 will be here 3.5 on this side and 3.5 on this side okay so draw a line here and this part is excess so remove this part of excess once you remove this part the next step will be your crown will be like this your crown will be like this so this is from the buccal aspect this is mesial this is distal side then the next step is from the mesiodistal dimension if you see from the mesiodistal dimension the crown will be look similar like this no change from the mesiodistal side again same thing you have to do it here take exactly half of this and the crown has to be divided into three parts incisal third middle third and cervical sir. so these are the three parts of the crown this is from mesial side considering this is buccal and this is lingual side so while doing this the height of contours first take the dimensions the buccolingual dimension the buccolingual dimensions are seven here so consider eight so four on this side four on this side okay so you have to remove it directly like this so your chunk will be like this from the mesiodistal diamond mesiodistal aspect so these are the mesiodistal aspect so remove this excess wax here so the block will be looks like this it will be like this your block will be like this you will have a three part of this crown area so it will be like this so you have removed this excess part here you have removed this excess so it will appear like this so once you will get this kind of an block you have to look for the cervical third area height of contour is at cervical third so this is the cervical third area cingulum will be in the cervical third area okay so now start with the labial aspect so this is what is a mesial side this is buccal side and this is lingual side okay so the buccal surface always goes sloping 
So from here, just take a straight line till the cervical third. Keep little away from the cervical third line. So you will have the bulk on the height as an height of contour area. Then from incisal area, I am giving C-shaped curvature till the cervical third line. So this makes the cingulum. This part will make cingulum. This part will make height of contour. I am keeping it little. This is little away from the midline. What are the midline I have been recorded here? This is little away from the midline. So this part is excess. So remove this part. So labiolingually this will appear as like this. It will appear like this. So this is the mesial side, this is buccal side and this is lingual side. So you automatically the crown has been prepared for the cent maxillary central incisor. So I will show you step by step here how to go for it. This is your block. So first take measurement of this. The measurement is the crown length first. It's supposed to be 11 millimeter. So I'm taking marking till 11 millimeter, and 13 millimeter from here is the root. So this I'm taking as a 14 millimeter. Okay. So draw a line here like this. Continue on all side. So this is the crown and this will be root. This will be root. So first we have to divide this into half. This I will have to divide into half. So this is the midpoint of this. So I am drawing a line here. Same on this side. like this, same on this side and same on this side. So all four dimensions I have divided into exactly half, half, half. Then now write down the name here, whichever name you are supposed to give. I will keep this as an buccal aspect. So I will write B on this side. So opposite will be lingual side. So it will be L on the lingual side. So this represents the lingual side. I will keep this as a mesial side. So I will write M on this side and opposite will be distal. So this is the distal side. So D I have written here. Okay. So this is how the mesial, this is how the mesial opposite will be distal. This is buccal opposite will be lingual side. Okay, so always keep buccal side towards you and take the dimension. What was the length of the crown? No, sorry, mesiodistal dimension at the crown, it was 8. Okay, it was 8.5. So I will keep 9. So this is, I think, 1 centimeter. So we have to take exact dimension here. So I will keep 1 centimeter, 10 millimeter. It is 8.5 actually. So I am keeping little extra, I am taking little extra over here, so I will keep from this area to this area, okay. And at the cervix it is supposed to be, at cervix it is supposed to be 7, so I will keep 8, so 4 on this side and 4 on this side, okay. So I will draw a straight line over here like this. little angulated line will be there like this. So this part is extra. Same line you have to follow it on the opposite side that is lingual side and then you have to remove the this excess wax. So I am I will just remove this excess wax here.
so you can make out. So you can make out the crown shape has been there okay then I will keep mesial or a distal side towards me I will take a measurement of it it is supposed to be buccolingual dimension supposed to be 7 so I will take 8 so this is what is the midpoint here this is what is the midpoint here so I will take 8 centimeter so 4 on this side and 4 on this side so I will draw a line here like this and this part is extra the outer part is extra so remove this part so I am just removing it like this straight away even this side also then from the lingual side So this is how your block looks, this is from the buckle side, you can make out, this is from buckle side, distal side they are straight, right, there is no angulation on this, even the lingual side they are little convergent towards the cervical area and again from the mesial side it is straight square, how it was there in the diagram. So if you see, I have reached up to this point and this point, so I have removed this, so the block appears like this, so I will have to go for this now. So height of contour at the cervical third and the cingulum height is at the cervical third area. So I will just remove or draw that part here, I will just remove this wax. So here again I will have to draw three lines here exactly three parts even here exact into three parts like this so I, have, I did this on the two surfaces one is on lingual surface mesial surface same I will follow it on the buccal surface also and the distal surface also okay a line you have to draw exactly into half from the mesial to distal side so that will be your incisal age, this will be your future incisal age. So this line should not, the labial surface as well as the lingual surface should not transfer from the, or do, should not cross this midline, okay. So you have to maintain this midline so that the incisal age will be exactly in the midline of the, your carving. So considering buccal surface, hold your buccal surface towards you, okay. And from the cervical third line, you can draw a line like this from the distal side. I have distal, uh, this distal side, I have drawn a line like this, little away from the cervical third line. If you see there is a gap here, so it is little away. So I have drawn a line here like this. Second line, I will do curvature, C shape curvature till the cervical third area. So this type of C shape curvature on the lingual side. So this will be lingual, there is a C shape curvature. So I will just re start removing the 
this excess wax here and the c-shape from the lingual surface. So, I am removing this, I will remove it directly like this till the cervical third line, there is a cervical third line. So, till that line, keep little away from the cervical third line, do not touch that cervical third line and remove it like this. Give little convexity to the labial surface like this. can see the curvature, there is a convexity now here, right. You, you can see here, this is labial surface, then you have to give C shape curvature from the lingual side. So, I am holding lingual surface towards us, towards me and I will remove it like this. I will not touch the incisal edge line, okay. Till that area, you have to make that C shape curvature. It should not be much deep. I have maintained little thickness bulk at the incisal edge. Okay, I'm just removing the excess wax over here. Your rough crown is ready now. You can see it is rough right it is almost ready this is from distal side this is from labial side buccal side you can see this is from buccal side and this is from lingual side so now remember here cingulum there is a constriction always towards cingulum so whatever the bulk is at labial surface here at the cervical line will not be there on the lingual surface because they are tapering towards the lingual side. So, this corner you have to remove and give some angle from labial to lingual side. So, I am removing from the lingual side this way, only corners, only the corners so that what will happen? See, the, you can see here the bulk of the cingulum has been reduced here. You can make out there is some angle from here to labial surface. So, if you are looking from the lingual surface, you should be able to see the buccal areas also. This is the buccal area. But if you see from the buccal surface, you cannot see the lingual surface. That suggests, see from the top, that suggests there is a constriction or tapering towards the lingual area. So, this is tapering like this. Even this also tapering like this. So, you have to maintain this cingulum thickness. Okay, then you have to round it up, all corners will be rounded. So, I am just making it round like this with the help of cotton also you can do. So, this is almost the crown is done. I am just removing this wax. The next step, once you are done with this, leave it like this only, then start for the root portion. So, whatever bulk is there at the cervical line, this is cervical line. So, whatever bulk is there, please follow that bulk for the root also. Okay? So, I am removing this crown, uh, root portion here. I will try to maintain that bulk, whatever it is there at the cervical line. Like this, see the bulk, it is merging here, the same thing you have to follow. I am removing first all corners.
you can see now, it looks like a cylinder here. From the root portion, it looks like cylinder. But you can, you have here the crown length, right? I'll just mark this crown length again. So this is your crown length, okay? You have a dimensions here. This is distal surface, buccal surface. This is what is mesial surface and this is lingual surface. So all dimensions are with you. Now remember here, distal outline is little rounded. Even this is also, this is angulated. This is the mesial incisal point angle. This is distal incisal point angle. So this becomes little rounded. Distal edge is little rounded. Mesial edge is not that rounded. So we can make here little round here, but that you do it later on. First, taper the root at the cervical line, towards the cervical line, like this. And always remember, incisal tip supposed to be exactly in the midline of the bulk of the crown, this way, exactly in the bulk. So do only at the cervical or apical area. You can make out now. If I remove this excess wax, yes, you can see now, right, I'll just polish it properly. Right? You can see all the polished surface here. Mesial, surf mesial angle is little rounded here. This is little rounded. I will do it with the cotton. I will not use carver like this. Yes. Can you make out here? This angle become little rounded. This angle become little rounded. Okay. In mesial, this is distal angle. This is the mesial angle. So mesial angle is pointed, acute angle is there. So maintain that angle there, acuteness. Yeah, you can see the roundness here. Exactly at the edge, you can make out now. Then, Prepare a cervical line, mesial cervical line will be, the concavity will be deep. So just draw like this, U shape here and the concavity on this side, little, not much deeper as mesial one, okay. So it will be like this, superficial. You can make out here, this is very superficial outline here. Yeah, very superficial and this becomes more deeper. You can make out here, this becomes more deeper. Then start removing the wax. Just continue this line like this from the lingual side like this and continue it towards the labial side. Then start removing wax to, from the root side, like this. Enter into the cervical line. Right. 
then remove the chips from the crown area also like this so you will have a prominent cervical line on the crown like this just polish it properly so that the cervical line will become clear so you can see now the cervical line so this is how your crown looks like if you see the cervical line it is very clear concavity is towards the incisal edge more on the mesial side and less on the distal side the curvature if you see here the curvature is not deep but here if you see the curvature is little deep okay then you will go for the fossa fossa supposed to be w shaped w shaped so you have to draw it like this first you have to draw the outer ridge like this and you have to connect this as w so you can write it directly like w this is how it looks w and whichever wax is there from the scoop end remove this wax from the lingual surface like this so you will have a lingual fossa also there on the lingual side you can make out now you can make out the w shape lingual fossa so your crown is almost ready i'll just polish this crown So this is how your crown looks like from the buccal surface. This is on the mesial and distal surface. You can make root more taper. It's still not. It's still bulky if you see. So you can remove that bulk. Thank you.